Is this classic Mac Ruby Woo lipstick worth getting? Today, we'll be putting it to the test against these three drugstore dupes and finding out which one is the closest match. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video for a very special giveaway announcement. Alright, first let's talk about the MAC Ruby Woo which I'm currently also wearing on my lips. So, when I swatched this on my hand, I found out that actually it feels a little dry and the colour also doesn't look too bright. But when I applied it on my lips, wow guys, the difference is huge. Look how rich and elegant it looks. So for the texture, I do feel that it's a little bit dry, but for the colour payoff, I think this is definitely worth it. So for the price, this MAC Ruby Woo lipstick comes in at 80 ringgit. So what are some budget-friendly options for the MAC Ruby Woo? First off, we have the Wet and Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Spotlight Red. So this lipstick has a very cute packaging, but there is one problem. I found that I'm not able to draw the lipstick back into the tube and as you can see, I've actually accidentally crushed the top quite a few times. When I swatched this lipstick on my hand, I found that it's a very pretty berry colour and it looks pretty similar on the lips as well. It looks very rich and is slightly more muted than the MAC Ruby Woo. The texture feels semi-matte and a bit creamy and can be a little bit hard to blend and slightly dry. For the price, this lipstick is actually very affordable at 16 ringgit. Next up, we have the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Matte X in the color Trust Me. This lipstick has a super cute packaging. Just look at how minimalistic and sleek it looks. On the hand, the color looks bright red and feels super creamy. It almost feels like I'm drawing on with a crayon. As for the color on my lips, I found that it is a much brighter red than the previous Wet n Wild lipstick. However, it feels a bit dry despite the creamy texture when I swatched it on my hand. As for the price, this lipstick comes in at around 32 ringgit, so it is not the cheapest option, but it's not super expensive either. Our final dupe for today is the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade of Scarlet. This lipstick has a pretty normal packaging. I would say this is quite a basic drugstore style. So for the swatch on the hand, it looks very similar to the ColourPop lipstick, but feels less creamy and slightly less pigmented. As for the lips, I find that when I apply this, this is the most wearable red shade among all the dupes. It's somewhere between the Wet n Wild and ColourPop shade. It's not too bright, but still has a very rich red. And best of all, this lipstick feels super moisturizing and is very easy to apply. This is my personal favorite dupe that I recommend, and the price is also super affordable. It is only around 17 ringgit. So what is the final result and which dupe is the closest match to the MAC Ruby Woo? And the winner is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Lipstick! So is this MAC Ruby Woo still worth getting? Personally, I feel that if you have the budget, then yes, it is because it just has a better quality and also a specific shade to it that makes you look that extra polished and elegant. But if you're not picky, those drugstore options work really great as well for a really good price. Now we have a very exciting announcement for all of you and that is we're having a giveaway! And we're giving away one free MAC Ruby Woo lipstick to one lucky subscriber. So all you have to do is to follow us on YouTube and Instagram and also leave a comment below on why you want to win this lipstick. So that's all for today everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Do leave us a comment below on what kind of products you want to see us review next. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye!